Um, but it's raining today. I don't even have grips on them because I had to cut my heated grips off. So hopefully those will arrive in the next few days. But I just want to, got bad weather coming, I just want to give it a quick spin around the block and see how they feel because they're in a lowered position. So I'm expecting quite a different feel. I also want to make sure everything works, that the bike still turns and yeah, this is going to be fun. Let's do this thing. I'm all good. Yes. Okay. So, let's see. Yeah, my bikes are close. Oh, I've also moved my gear indicator down there. Hoping to get um, slightly better, I glued it, but it doesn't feel very strong. I'm going to get double-sided tape for it, just um, to get it out of the out of the sunlight. See if that works better or not. Okay, I quite like the green look. I must be honest. I think it's quite sporty. Probably, given my choices, I would probably just go with black. It's less busy in front of you and possibly less reflection, but. Um, no, it's not bad. Let's just see. That's revving. Okay, I'm going to have to grip very, very tightly. I've got no actual grips. And I have to lean forward to see the one, so I must remember when I do seat it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it feels alright. doesn't feel hugely different. It's definitely further forward. But I'll be honest, it doesn't feel hugely different. But I like it. I like the fact that the bars come back like this. They're not out like that. That's cool. It feels a bit strange to hold a, a silver bar. And I'm not sure I'm going to replace the heated grips, I'll be honest. Um, they're expensive and also I'm not sure I'm going to do lots of winter cold driving with this. This is supposed to be my summer bike. We'll see. I'll decide later. So far so good. I like the feeling. Definitely more forward. Love these brakes. I don't know what it's going to do to low speed handling. It might be difficult on low speed handling because um, when I turn it, I actually knock knock the the windshield ever so slightly. Um, apparently, you can move that bolt, pivot the bolt away, but it's not bad. It goes almost all the way, and then it just touches at the end. So I think I'm good. <sighs> okay, that's better. Nothing's fallen off, nothing's broken. My gear indicator is not going to work there. Okay, I've got to move it forward. But I think I can put a little ramp. I'll get some of that plastic stuff, put a bit of a ramp. Third ticket, okay. Yes. Uh, in for a rainy day or two. That's a slight pity. Second, yeah, still works. I'll have to have a look at my side profile. I'll get Simon to take a photo just to see if, if you noticeably lean forward. But I like it. I really like it. It's less out here. I think the, the other grips were like here. So probably not a lot higher, probably maybe an inch or two, but up there and they were forward. Here they set back and they lower down. I like it. I like it a lot. Now, one thing I have to figure out is what about 
the bar ends because there's no bar ends on these they're plastic you just turn them off and you put proper bar ends i found out what bar ends are for they're not just for scraping the ground if you fall they're actually a weight and they take away the vibration off your hands apparently and i can feel vibration these things are vibrating um, not terribly but maybe at high speed and over long distances it'll be a problem so that's why you need bar ends but these bar ends are threaded which is curious sorry the tubes are threaded on the inside and none of my other bikes have got that, that thread they've all got a small thread so i have to get an adapter which is a, a big to small thread adapter something i'm pretty sure you can get from an engineering shop i could even make it myself or i could i could just uh, um, get rid of that um, thread and just use the normal bar end which is an expander but I quite like the threads so I think I want to try and put a, a thread insert there doesn't, it doesn't look like I can fit my existing bar ends in them the threads are just a little bit too big uh, for, the, for the, the bushing thing to go in alright so something else is interesting I had to cut all of the um, heated grip stuff away but the cables for the heated grips are like buried underneath the bike and they three thick cables that all converge sort of like underneath and impossible to reach unless I strip away half the bike I could see them but there was like a bundle of masking tape or black electrician's tape and I wasn't going to pull it so I just cut them off I put terminals on on the obvious battery ones so actually I've got a, a nice um, power supply switched power supply sitting there now that I could use for something else um, what did I do oh I moved the USB to here because um, it wouldn't fit here anymore because <laughs> these bars are shorter there's less space for stuff so it was a choice between my USB charger or my quad lock so the quad lock one USB charger got put over there but it actually it's, it's more out of the way I quite like it there so I think that that works nicely all right I think we've done enough of a little test have I got any pressure on my forearms not really yeah yeah a little bit I'll get used to it I just think the bike looks so much more sportier well it will when the hands when the grips are back I bought cheap grips for now like 18 buck grips just so I can get them tomorrow um, and then decide what grips I actually want so they're nasty looking things I think they're probably like dirt bike grips um, but the, the, I'm not sure what I want I want to have a proper look and see all right we are home and done successful I dig it still got L plate on that for Sami boom 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 yep everything feels fine